Hello and welcome. This is H with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be working again with Navigation Drawer. And what I've got here is a uh, drawer that uh, you should recognize the top. Um, I did not put a header in this one, so it's very simple. Uh, we've got the settings, of course. Uh, these don't actually do anything. They just uh, have a, a, a toast on them because it's right here that we're, we're focusing on. This changes pages right here. And I would like to give almost full credit to uh, uh, this Anat Pahmachug. I don't know how to pronounce your name, uh, but uh, this a person is a genius. And this is a work of simplicity in itself. Uh, it's easy to deal with. Uh, it's simple to change and to modify. And uh, I really, really like it. Uh, for all the things out there that are super confusing and hard to follow and um, of course this is also due partially because uh, the navigation drawer that I'm working with is designed to work with uh, the uh, the new upgraded material design stuff so you'll run into things that are older and this is before the new stuff and it's just very very confusing all right so what we've got here is um, some stuff that you can basically copy and paste and modify to your heart's content. All right, we're using fragments. Now, two things I'd like to show you. This is the part of the genius of this is how he's done uh, the uh, the listing. This is all uh, the, based on basically two major Java files, data modify model and draw item custom adapter. And this will handle all of that and you don't have to change any aspect of this it does it all in the background it's again I think this this is genius now everything here that you see ending with fragment is the new page so I've got the data model the draw custom adapter and then the main activity now these two you don't really need to change and this, um, you can look at it. There are a couple there. I'll show you where you need to change. All right. So pretend like you want to update or change or modify. Of course, you're going to have to change your Java files. Um, they're going to have to be different. There's a couple of places in the main activity that we're going to look at. All right. See this data model, which is directly tied to this actual data model up here. All right. So the first thing you need to be aware of is that the number of pages you have need to be represented here and remember this is computer science so it starts counting at zero so you've got zero one two and three and that represents your pages I th that's one place you have to change when you want to change pages and these are the three pages that were initially with this and uh, I added my own right here to show you where you need to add the next place that you need to go and modify is down here. Now he uses a switch, uh, which is perfectly fine. The default setting is a little bit different. It uses the else if a statement, but this works. Uh, I notice a lot of people prefer the switch. So if you're going to add a page, you need to do what I did and add a case. So you have case one, two, three. Fragment equal new self added fragment. And if you want to change these pages or do some of these, you'll have to change those as well. And if you'll scroll on down, you'll see your um, other things that we've added. Uh, this is where I added the toast. Now, um, if you didn't want to add this, you wanted to get rid of this, uh, you could go through the process of getting rid of, of all of this if you wanted to. I just added it there so that it would look similar to what we had completed in our previous tutorials. All right, there is one other place that you have to change, and that would be in strings. All right, your string array right here. You have to add and change this, my own. And uh, well, I'll just change it now so you can see that the, the my very own. And when I run it, it comes up with this. You go to here. See, this doesn't change because this is a modified, remember, this is a modified uh, over here in the other XML files. But when you click here, it changes it to this to my very own. 
So if you don't uh, have this here, uh, it's not a huge deal, but it won't run uh, because it will look for this. Uh, so that needs to be changed. And uh, that that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. You have to create, for instance, um, I'll go in here to my self-added fragment. Uh, this is pretty much the contents of the fragment. It's uh, view, root, view, inflate, and you just basically inflate uh, into your into your layout and a fragment self-added. And we'll go into fragment self-added, XML, and it's just basically a an XML design that you you that is part and used in the inflate. Uh, so this is your your page and uh, that's all there is to it it's pretty simple uh, you'll have an XML for every fragment and you'll have the main XML and of course we're familiar with by now these other uh, menu main toolbar and uh, list view item row because we've already worked with aspects of this with the previous tutorials so you should be able to I'll go into here and manipulate those things as to your heart's content. Um, so there it is. Uh, it's simple, easy, um, surprisingly easy. Uh, now that I've got around to sifting through all the different things that are out there. Um, so yeah, I'm really impressed about how easy this is once uh, you get to the point where uh, you can read it and you can understand it. And with the help of... Uh, an absolute programming genius in my opinion uh, so I think this right the draw model and the draw item customer has really made this a lot easier uh, so uh, thank you a couple of quick things before I let you go I wanted to show you here is the Android manifest uh, I noticed this my material theme uh, if you get an error that's because I've, I've created a, a customized theme down here uh, I also wanted to show um, the fully expanded Android app folder um, so that uh, when you wanted to make sure that you got everything in the right folder uh, I will put again this stuff all in uh, my website including the uh, drawables everything will go that you're going to be using will go in the drawable folder although for some reason it doesn't all show up here uh, it is indeed in the draw your drawable folder you can see what I've used. I've used the L square, the table, the IC drawer because I already had it available, the fixtures and the connect and I'll put a copy of these on my website um, so that you can find them. Um, the only thing that I'm not putting on here is the Android manifest because um, there's really not any major changes to that and uh, yeah so there that's it's there that is. And the last thing I wanted to show you is the Gradle you need to make sure that uh, you have this these dependencies loaded again if you don't know how to remember how to load the dependencies you just go to file project structure over to app and the dependencies and then plus library dependency and then look for the one you want v7 so you find it and click ok and then you'll have it loaded if you don't already you should already at this point have this um, loaded so very few of you will have that problem uh, most of this we've already covered um, the use of fragments of course we're not we're familiar with that uh, the main activity the only really big differences are um, the things that we use for uh, the uh, the drawer item uh, and the data model and uh, so yeah so there it is i hope you enjoyed it i hope you are be able to take away something from this and use it in your models and uh, your uh, apps again all this information will be up on my website and check below for links uh, to the people that i uh, pretty much went to um, and got information from because uh, they provide tutorials too and mine was just a video so um, be sure to patronize their websites. This is Ageless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Glad you could join me. See you around.